Oh, you really got me good. <laughs> Can't believe it's going to end like this. Oh, who built pain receptors into this body? Oh. Well, Lore Seeker, you know what they say. A squirrel a day keeps the bullet away. Oh, that's so lame. Oh. Wait, are you going to kill me just because I don't like squirrels? Dude, that's fucking dumb. Man, that sucks. I really liked that body. Oh well. At least I was smart enough to have a backup. Hello everyone, Lorseeger here. It is Wednesday, the Ides of March, as I record this video. Now, when this channel began, it began as a channel focusing on Magic the Gathering lore. And for almost four years now, it's been going great. I do I do genuinely enjoy making these videos. I like talking about characters and events that I thought were enjoyable. When a story is great, you want to talk about it. You want to share your love of it with other people. And this channel has been a great way for me to share my love of Magic the Gathering lore with all of you. But over time, I don't want to say I've fallen out of love with Magic's lore. That's not true. I love Magic's lore, but by that I mean older Magic lore. The Gatewatch Saga will always hold a special place in my heart because of how silly it is and how it ended up, but before that, there was Cons of Tarkir, there was the Weatherlight Saga, there was Chainer, there was Chroma. there was a lot of stuff I really enjoyed, and I still intend to talk about all those things and more on this channel. Don't get me wrong, this is not an I'm quitting video, in fact, quite the opposite. You see, in recent years, especially since 2019, Magic's lore has gotten bad. Make no mistake, magic lore has its ups and downs, and some of the older stuff is really bad, but recently the stories have been consistently bad, and they show no signs of improving. WotC shows no signs of wanting to improve the lore, and as a result, I've grown more and more dispassionate towards the lore. As you all know, I've stopped covering new topics on this channel. I've been focusing almost exclusively on older things, things that I enjoy, as it should be. You should talk about the things you like. And like I said, I fully intend to keep talking about the things I enjoy, but the things I enjoy don't just include magic. So I've been thinking for a while now about the future of this channel. And the future of this channel, going forward, is not just going to be magic-centered. It's no longer going to be MTG Lore Seeker, it's just going to be Lore Seeker. I'm going to still talk about lore. I'm going to still share fantastic fantasy stories with all of you. It's just not just going to be Magic the Gathering. It's going to be whatever it is I enjoy, basically. Whether it be H.P. Lovecraft's work, the Conan stories, Red Sonia, or video game lore. You know, there's a lot of fiction out there that I greatly enjoy. And not just in books or video games, there's also card games. Magic is not the only card game with lore. Flesh and Blood has fantastic lore, to be frank. I'm reading on it as we speak. Uh, there's a lot going on on the world of Wraith, and I'm loving everything I see there. So, of course, expect some Flesh and Blood lore in the future... Yu-Gi-Oh! has a great lore, so expect some of that in the future. And more than that, just expect more lore in general from a variety of sources, basically. What I'm trying to say is I'm branching out. I'm not just going to be doing magic lore. I'm going to be doing anything I enjoy, basically. And with that change to the channel comes a change to uh, my physical appearance. Hello, Lorebot 2.0 here. Uh, there's a few reasons for this change. Uh, the big one is it's more expressive. I get to move around a bit more, show off my facial expressions, be angry, be sad, all that jazz. Uh, part two is, you know, reason two is if I'm moving away from magic lore, I should move away from the magic identity of the channel and, well, the old lore bot is, uh, well, he's 
He's very magic, so he kinda had to go. RIP LoreBot 1.0 That's really all there is to say. This is my formal announcement, letting you all know that going forward, the channel is going to be different. I'm going to be branching out more often into other things, other lore. Yes, there's still going to be magic videos in the future, I promise you that. And yes, for those of you who care, don't worry, there's still going to be plenty, plenty of shit posts as well. But there's going to be a focus on the lore. For now, you guys are probably going to notice a lull in the video production. I am currently, like, digesting as much flesh and blood lore as I can, reading everything I can find on the game, the world of Wraith, and the characters within it. I'm loving what I've found so far, and I'm hungry for more. So, expect a lot of flesh and blood content in the near future, that's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for putting up with this. This is my midweek ramble video. Have a great day, guys. I will catch you in the next one.